Hello and welcome to McGregor Point Provincial Park. We're on the eastern shore of Lake Huron, just outside of Port Elgin. This is the last episode in the season of our Ontario Provincial Parks reviews. We visited a lot of wonderful places and we always like to finish off with a very familiar place. McGregor Point is a place we've been coming to for years and we wanted to show it to you. McGregor Point has 360 sites in total, which consist of 234 electric sites, 30 amp and 15 amp. 16 yards. And 110 non-electric. There's three main campgrounds, Algonquin, Nipissing and Huron. And each of them consist of three camping areas. We're staying in Algonquin at what area? Birches. Birch Boulevard, exactly. <laughs> There's also a group camping area called Juniper Woods. It consists of two areas. One is a walk-in and the other is drive-in. And in the drive, both actually, both areas have vault toilets and a sink. There's a comfort station in the center of each loop of each of the three main campgrounds. So that means there are three comfort stations in each of the three main campgrounds. The comfort station consists of washroom and shower facilities. There are eight trails totaling 24 kilometers. Some are multi-use and some are just hiking. And there's one main beach, it's called Camper's Beach. And one dog beach. And a store. And here is the visitor center.
Welcome everyone to the second annual Cole Salada Thanksgiving at McGregor Point in Fairless. Uh, we're just missing one person. Brian didn't make it this year. Didn't you tell me last year that this is the smallest it'll ever be? <laughs> I know. It's never smaller than this. We'll have children, grandchildren. We'll have everybody that's here in class. Anyway, Thanksgiving 2019. Cheers. 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 We just finished our long weekend at McGregor Point Provincial Park. We were doing it over the Thanksgiving weekend in Canada, early October. Uh, it was kind of a dreary, cold weekend. We had some rain Friday night, had some rain uh, Sunday night. Um, but then again, anytime we can get out camping in the trailer is a good weekend. It's fun to get together, get the family and friends together. You still have lots of fun, whether it's crappy weather or good weather. Um, things to do while camping at McGregor Point during the summer, mainly. Um, Port Elgin is just a few minutes away. They have a great beach there with a flea market on Wednesdays. Um, Southampton has a rocky beach with a lighthouse that's fun for hiking. Um, they also have a monstrous indoor flea market that we like going and checking things out there. Um, a little bit further away is Sable Beach, which would be a good day trip to do. Um, what else? And at Sobble Beach or Sobble Falls. Yep. When the kids mm -hmm. were little, we really liked going to Sobble Falls because kids can play in the water there, uh, in the, in the rushing water. And there's a little bit of a jump off spot. So it's really ideal for the kids. It's mm -hmm. a, a lot of fun playing in the falls there. And there's plenty of shopping and restaurants. So McGregor Point is situated in a, in a great location, Ontario, especially during the summertime. Uh, a lot of activities to do. We went in the fall, so we couldn't show you a lot of those activities. But McGregor Point has been a standard, an old standby for us for coming up on 30 years. We used to go there before we had kids, just a little two-seater Honda Civic CRX and mm -hmm. have all our gear in there. And we've progressed, brought our kids there, went up to uh, tenting with bigger tents and, and then bringing a... Uh, a utility trailer full of stuff and then a bigger utility trailer full of stuff. We upgraded a lot. <laughs> yeah, and then we went to a hybrid camper trailer and now we're now with our uh, Freedom Express. So we're bringing more and more every year, but we've been coming here for a long time and we do love this park. Yeah, they have nice nice sites too. They're well treated. So I definitely and I always will give McGregor Point a big thumbs up. Yeah. We love going there. It's not far from home for us. Um, it's an old standby and we'll continue to go there for years. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the last episode in season one of our review of Ontario Provincial Parks. Next season, we're going to do it all over again with season two. We're going to continue to review Ontario Provincial Parks and we're going to try a whole lot of other new parks. Some that we've never been to before and some I'm sure we'll go to Pinery next year. Pinery is another old standby for us like McGregor Point. We didn't go there this year. That's a rare year that we didn't go there. We'll review that next year and a whole lot of other ones. We're really trying to go to different parks. But we still do our standby to. just for time and distance wise. Some of the Lake Huron ones are closer for us to go to. Yeah, if you're only going for a weekend, we don't want to drive for eight hours to go mm -hmm. for a weekend. We just want to do it, you know, most two hours for something like that. Then we'll throw in a couple new ones. Anyway, it's late fall and... It's but going into winter. We start booking again in December. That's right. Yes. So that's something to look forward to. We can start booking mm -hmm. again in December because you can't book more than five months away. Mm -hmm. uh, so in December, we can start booking for the May 2-4 weekend. 
and then we can do it all again. It's going to be sad. We have to winterize this and we have to put it away for storage, but we can always look forward to bringing it out again next year. Yay. So hopefully you can join us next year for season number two. Have a good winter and try to stay warm. <laughs>